San Fernando's tap room has been open for since 2015. We started with a capacity of just 45 barrels every two weeks. And now our capacity is about 150 barrels every two weeks. On any given day, we have about 14 to 16 beers on tap here. Uh, and we distribute between 10 and 12 of those beers out to the public market. Our top three flagship beers, well, our first one would have to be the O'Melveny Red. That is our most popular beer by far. Uh, comes in at 7.5% alcohol. It's got a nice malty front with a not really a bitter finish. So it's kind of the anti-IPA. Um, people looking for a bigger beer, but without the bitterness of the hop. Old Melvany Red is one of my favorites here at San Fernando Brewery. Never been to Old Melvany Park, so it was great having the hike for the first time and having this afterwards. Our number two beer, I think, my personal, would be the IPA Cubed. It's our triple IPA, uh, but it's not dank and it's not grassy or kind of earthy. It's more of a refreshing floral IPA, but it comes in over 10% alcohol and has got the high IBU content. What are you drinking? Oh man, beautiful, delicious, IPA cubed by Phenomenal San Fernando Brewing. Very thankful, they also have a great margin. Really excited, really delicious. One that most people would never think about would be the Stony Point Stout. Uh, it's a light stout, easy to drink on nitro here in the tap room. And it comes in at 5% alcohol, but it's near and dear to my heart. That was the first beer we brewed here. So if you're looking for a stout that's not too heavy, it could be on a summer day even, it's definitely the way to go. If you like uh, the lagers, they've got them. If you like the stouts, they got them. And uh, they put a lot of effort into their, into their product. I'm drinking their Del Valle, uh, which is a lager, and it's uh, real mild, nice, easy to drink. As for the community of San Fernando, they've been amazing. The, they're so loyal to the brand and the brand is loyal to them and it's, it's a very symbiotic relationship and people come in and this is a lot of the first craft beer they've ever tasted in the city especially because people were craft beer fans but nobody had access to craft beer in this area here in the community we've become a community hub since it's a densely populated area People come here to meet their friends instead of standing at, hanging out at home with their parents or, or there are three generations of people. And uh, we've had people meet here, get married, have kids. They come in and bring their kids now and it truly is amazing to be a part of that community and part of that, the growth. People have met each other that never would have known each other. So people live half a block away from each other and now they're best friends, but they've never met before. Those are the big things. We all got to meet on the hike. We all yeah. didn't, you know, they knew each other, but we all didn't know. We came as two friends and we ended up being four. Hey, how you doing? It's Backyard Brews right here at South Carolina Brewing Company. Uh, been here since they, op since they opened. Great brewery, great for the community. I'm an IPA drinker. Love their um, IPA Q, Wolf Skill. I love their, their hard stuff, Red Rum, one of my top favorites out here. Um, love their variety of beers, um, different styles for everybody and their taste buds as well. So San Fernando Brewery is where it's at, right here in the city of San Fernando. Really chill. Uh, the vibes are just very relaxing. Um, Marachi night every last Thursday of the month. Beers are great, people are great, food's great. So what's your overall experience with San Fernando Brewing? It's a great brewery, we love it. The beers are top notch, lots of flavor, well balanced uh, with the hops and all that stuff. So yeah, we're big fans, all of us. <laughs> But this place is dope, man. I love this patio out here, especially with all the coverings. It's nice and cool. It's beautiful, man. It's very warm and friendly. Like a lot of families come out here. You can bring, I bring my dog as often as I can. Um, they have a really like solid, uh, loyalty-based customers. You know, I go back six years since when they opened. So uh, I've been coming here since then. You know, I actually. Uh, was your opening day and uh, ever since you know I've always felt welcome here and uh, you know it's in my hometown I live here in San Fernando so definitely very uh, grateful to have a brewery here in San Fernando I ordered the 
a pumpkin pie ale from here, their seasonal beer. It tastes like Thanksgiving. It tastes like fall. So skip the pumpkin spice latte. Come have a beer here at San Fernando Brewery. To find out more information about our brewery, social media is definitely the way to go. Uh, we have our Facebook page and our Instagram page. Those are our big two social media platforms. And then our website, just SanFernandoBrewingCompany.com. Our tasting room is our home, and we love to welcome people into our home. There's no pressure ever to order anything you might or might not like. There's no pressure to leave. We just want you to come in, relax, and have a conversation.